In this lecture, we will learn how to perform a measurement system analysis using ANOVA method and interpret the results. Here are a set of important points for you to perform the measurement system analysis. Make sure that the parts cover the entire specification range. Also ensure that the appraisers are people who are involved in the daily measurement. Randomize the order of doing the data collection because the same appraiser is going to collect the same part twice. It's likely that he might remember that part, he might have an identifier or so and remember the part and then reproduce the same value. In order to ensure that that doesn't occur, try to randomize the order. We will talk about how randomization can be done using Minitab. Also, after you have completed the measurements, if possible, retain the parts or the documents that you are having so that even after measurement, if you have a clarification, because most often when your gauge results are not consistent, then we will be required to go and find out why the gauge RNR was poor and what can be done to improve it. For such instances, 